Koko ni do ho e de nsem bi abetu dia busu ya ohwe se de manifesto nsensem esi e kokoso a MPP e monyoko no e de kan e man e alancho mo manifesto a chese ensem ho e wo mu no e o mo de ababetu dia e chere gana fo na eno ana NDC fo nso ako ako lanche o mo de 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 e wo weni ba e ye e na kakra ya eno ana koko ni do ho ababon ten e de secret bi secret upon secret bi ababa tu dia just a revelation, sir. Koko ni do hu. Edi abe tuwa bwente ne busi ya. Enye izi kura. Ema ufo bi busi ya se. Adai koko ni do hu. Adai. O chese. O ni ma hama wo ishi usa. Na because en se mwa. O bie bie ni no. Enye se mke tuwa kura. Enye se mke tuwa. E non ye be se. Ye ko ni ye ko bo bo. Mwen ye shen se mwa koko ni do hu. Edi abe tu tuta ni ye fe. Se so. E ye se mwa witi muse. E ye adia. O no an kasane. O o o o o o o o o o o ye mo pia koko ni do hu ye won ko tie ensem a o cheche mu e fa eye john dramani mahama ene ndc amonyoko no ye ba e beto aso pe pe dia mo te ye elect in 2024 ene e raise a lot of questions especially from the former deputy general secretary of the national democratic congress koku anido ho ne we san kasa for president john dramani mahama de tu dra ne se wo wo embark on a ruthless war against corruption, we will prohibit politically exposed persons, political appointees, and public officials from purchasing state assets. So it's not only me who cannot buy state assets, my wife and my children cannot buy state assets because they are all political exposed persons. And then, uh, and Kofo Bisa said, former president of Dramani Mahama, adding, ye electing as a former president of, ye electing as a president of Ghana, and as an ombedi, a government official, Wanda, ewa Ghana, ha, na. Because during the presidency, there's a Ghana Airports Company contract, $18 million, our title on SBMC, according to this article, no, Omo LNK, Emma, and the former, the brother, Ibrahim Mahama, during the time. Ah, and Kofu will bring it in a cassette here because of conflict of interest. And since Sema, okay, city, no, 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 because I have a opportunity. And now, why, why not talk? And see, a bad day now, will be sad. No, you better, you better trust and say, whoa, bra, never yet sanitizer. And I said, but sanitize it, the corrupt system. And see, trust in the dear, and that forms a team. For the former president John Romanema, because of a typical example of this SBMC contract, eighteen million dollar contract of the Ghana Airports Company, you see a tabrimi, Edema, former president John Romanema, Ninya, Berima. Now, similarly, so you see my child's bank, forties, and also a a company with ties with Mahama's appointees raised questions about conflict of interest. Former president John Romanema's pledge. To investigate unresolved cases, including Ayawa Sogwes Wogon by election violence and Ahmed Swallow's killing. Yes, say, me nana de Eden or can Ama and Kofo assume Ayomode because NDC supporters and Eden or more instigating, say, or more Kako Eden, Ekako attack electoral commission officials and a security personnel doing protection of these officials. A course of sa violence, a course of war. I also West work on India. Say investigation, bankrupt, or moment to me within the NDC party or more crack away during the time. I just say, go to Abamano and son of a timer, a crack away, sa investigation during NDC tenor from 2009 to 2017. The party's administration was marred by a series of corruption scandals that eroded public trust and undermined its. Credibility. Inti, former President John Dramani Mahama, especially in Mreso, even Yebeka as a former president, John Evans at Tamil Scrapo, there are corruption scandals in Scrapo, there are no Babi Brisa, the only one, a very, very, very popular, that involved the investigation of him as vice president. Inti, former President John Dramani Mahama, then Hujimwa, and a corruption, a status, a P. Nina, a foreigner, even for a the presidency. A typical example, a Jida, ah, a Sansuede, a co affected people 
of the north. Sika ya si yenfama yenfama yembebunu na mufanko ye juma. Na impenifoni dini nyafu. 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 Na point is no. Because, all because of the simple fact. Se. Obeka se. Eh, na eba scandal empu. Yenye hu investigations. Da jida na ababe yenye hu investigations. Into omu nyade enfantry. Omu nyade audacity. E eh, yede. E di government taxes. E eh, abayin. Uh, revenue mobilization, even a typical example, so yeah, Sada scandal. Another one, uh, and also, sir, uh, with impunity, is in Sika, yes, yeah, 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 agricultural animal rearing, to say, confirm, Nina, yeah, Kubusaya, Omunya, the audacity, a catch, and say, some one, a two, a couple, Kina, for so, ah, and Kofoka, the IAS, and up till today, yeah, to me, yeah, then, and finally, go on, master, no, my say, say, scanner. Former Deputy General Secretary, Koko Anido, was a laughable, a even funny. Say, former President John Dramani Mamo, be a young woman in San Rui Jumada, or Benya the audacity of Abeka, say Ghana for a man another chance. No, or no, and ever be fighting corruption. Yeah, we saw, uh, uh, lawyer Paula Domotri, your interview, be said. Former President John Dramani Mamo, I didn't think that you to know, a castle or more money opportunity, number year presidents. You could see, Lawyer Akba, ni semo odi tuja, efa former president John Dramani Mama, ni credibility, ena ni, 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 ni pedigree as a fighter of corruption during the time of Obey president. Se, ebe tu abama ni biyo mana se, yen tu abama former president John Dramani Mama biyo. Why should young people not listen or vote for John Mahama as a final part of our conversation? Um, in 2012, he told the young people of this country to give him the opportunity to be president and that he would deliver prosperity for them, that he would create the opportunities for them to get jobs to do. In fact, I remember the exact words he used. He said he would lead a government which would create the opportunities for all those who are willing and able to work, to get work. He promised the Ghanaian people that he was going to ensure an annual growth rate of some 8% per annum. The young people listened to him and voted for him to be president. Mm -hmm. We all know that for four years we slept in darkness, contrary to his promise to ensure reliable power supply throughout his presidency. We all know that he entered into an agreement which prevented his government from employing young people throughout his presidency. We all know that the many commitments that he made to young people, he failed to deliver. We believe that it is important for young people to consider Dr. Baumia, who has had no such opportunity to be president. Mm -hmm. And beyond everything, based on what they have done as vice presidents, it is safe to conclude that Dr. Baumia would be a better president to serve the aspirations of young people than John Dramani Mahama. Or, even more importantly, is their personal integrity. Because the major worry for young people is who best can protect their taxes. Mm -hmm. Dr. Baumia has been, at least for public service in this country, since 2000. From the Bank of Ghana? From the Bank of Ghana. He rose through the ranks to become a deputy governor of the Central Bank. And currently he's vice president. In international development, he has worked with the IMF, he has worked with the Africa Development Bank, and many other international institutions. What is clear is his undoubted integrity, which is very, very crucial in who we select to be the next president. In all of the roles that he has played, I say confidently that he has remained Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. He has acquired no such names as government official one and all those other names. He has remained Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. You need a president 
who has no ambition for wealth. And I have made this point many times. Because for such a person, he is much more interested in protecting your taxes and using them for public purposes. Like free SHS. Like free SHS. Like increasing capitation grant from five CDs, we got it in 2016 to 15 CDs. All right? like investing heavily in things like school feeding program. So Dr. Baumia has the integrity that we require in our next president. His vice presidential candidate, Dr. Matthew Poki Prempe, was very forceful in making that point that Dr. Baumia is not corrupt. He cannot be corrupted by power. And he has never been a subject of any investigation. I believe that on the strength of this, young people should give him the opportunity so we see what he can do for the people of ghana his opponent has had the opportunity to be president in 2012 his record has been and was criminally appalling and i do not think that we should return to those errors apart from everything dr baumia understands the need of young people young people want easy access to public services mm -hmm. Dr. Baumia is saying that by formalizing the economy through digitization, it creates the opportunity for young people to access public service with ease. So he appreciates the world. And that's why he made that direct appeal to young people to support him to be president. And he would lead that great transformation that they have always desired. Even more importantly is the fact that we have already provided all the safety nets so you need the vision of Dr. Baumia to propel businesses, to deliver jobs, so young people can enjoy what nationhood has to offer. But I need to ask you why your party is running away from holding a presidential debate. It is a completely worthless exercise. So we don't think that it will serve any purpose at all. The reason my guiding principles are two. Don't debate an idiot and don't debate a liar. So any of these two who tempts me for any debate, I ignore them. You're not calling by this the presidential candidate of the governing new patriotic party an idiot and a liar? No, I'm not saying the two must, be, must fit one person, but when you look at the two categorization, you see that he's a liar. That one is something nobody can contest. I'm not too sure whether he's an idiot. But at least I'm sure he's a liar. So, in my capacity as the national chairman, I have made it very, very clear to our flag bearer that we are not going to engage in a debate with a liar. It has been said by ancient sages that never debate a liar because they believe in their lies. And so you can win a debate against a liar. So don't waste your time going into it. I said Dunkatia says he's not going to debate Dr. Baumia because he's a liar. I think that the is an irony, but I would also comment briefly on the level of indecency in the language um, that the NDC is, you know, signaling ahead of the December elections. I mean, it is a competition of ideas. And as much as possible, we should avoid raw insults. And you would expect that people like Asid in Ketia, who is supposed to be an example for young people like myself, would be conducting themselves in a manner dignifying of their age. Um, it is reprehensible for me to describe John Ramani Mahama in similar light, because if for nothing at all, um, the aura of respectability associated to the office that he once occupied ought to be maintained. And I think that that same principle applies to Dr. Baumia because as I've been the flag bearer of the new patriotic party, he's currently the vice president of the Republic of Ghana, not 
not for the new patriotic party. So he represents our nation. And regardless the heated nature of our politics, we must, you know, ensure that there's some modicum of respect. And I was really disappointed in his choice of words. But if you say that somebody is a liar, a debate provides the platform to demonstrate to the Ghanaian people that your assertion is valid. You know, and so for seven years they have maintained that Dr. Baumia has failed in their view and the management of the economy. They have raised a number of claims against him. Um, notwithstanding those claims, the NPP delegates decided to elect him as a presidential candidate of the New Patriotic Party. A presidential debate provides the platform for the NDC to vindicate the claims that they have made in the last seven years. Directly with him. Directly with him. Mm. It affords them the opportunity with to the full glare of the Ghanaian people. With the Ghanaian people. It affords them the opportunity to say that, well, in our view, you have mismanaged the economy based on the data available. So that at the end of the day, you're able to prove to the Ghanaian people that for seven years the things that you have been saying are true. But unfortunately, they are not prepared to take up that opportunity and to demonstrate to the Ghanaian people that what Dr. Baumia, what they have been saying about him is true. I think, rather, that our position has been affirmed, that indeed, when it comes to the management of the economy in the last seven years, our record is superior to that of the NDC. And Dr. Baumia is fully prepared any day to justify on the strength of the data that what we have been able to do in the last seven years is far, far better than what the NDC um, was able to do. But if they are not prepared to take the opportunity to, you know, vindicate the claims that they have made against Dr. Baumia, it is for the Ghanaian people to judge. Um, it is not a good argument to say that because candidate Ekufuadu did not debate John Dramani Mahama, Therefore, John Dramani Mahama will not debate Dr. Baumia. You know, the, the essence of presidential debate is to provide the voter with that opportunity to evaluate. Not just your track record, but even the ideas that you are advertising. All right, because through the debate, questions are answered, asked, the, the ideas are tested, and so the voter is able to make informed decisions. And I think that it is unfortunate that they have decided as, as a party that they would not afford the Ghanaian people the opportunity to evaluate these two candidates, their track records, and the kind of... But nevertheless, well, is Dr. Baumia preparing for it? Because the IEA seems to be going ahead with it. And there may be other presidential candidates. Well, I mean, the two main contenders, really, mm -hmm. are John Dramani Mahama and Dr. Mahmoudou Baumia. Uh, whether you like it or not, one of them would emerge as the next president. Mm -hmm. And so their views on crucial matters affecting the Ghanaian people are very, very important. And I don't think that the other presidential candidates would be able to represent the aspirations of the Ghanaian people in this time of our national life than the two of them. Uh, you know, Dr. Baumia is ready in a day that the NDC decides to take, take an IEA platform even if John Mahama is not showing up? Well, the campaign is yet to, to take a decision on that in the face of the NDC's position on the whole subject matter. But what I do know is that Dr. Baumia, in the meantime, would be engaging the Ghanaian media and it would be a total representation of our country. All the 16 regions will be present and questions would be asked. Um, his policies, um, they would ask questions on his policies and he would provide explanations. I'm sure the journalists would ask questions about his, his track record as vice president and what he has been able to do. We believe that it is one of the platforms that we will use to address some of the